being at the network layer, what does the network do? Well, it does message routing and relaying to get to the ultimate destination. We're going to talk about uh, addressing in a bit here. Um, but we are uh, setting up, managing uh, the network. It's a packet network, so each individual packet is a message, even though what we determine to be a message, what we understand as a message, may consist of a multitude of packets. Uh, so our, our datagrams here, uh, we manage them. Uh, we've talked about uh, routing protocols. Uh, so more management goes on here. There is, for example, just the, the internet protocol operates at this layer. Uh, internet group management protocol um, is happening at this. Um, of course, the uh, the routing uh, protocols, open shortest path first, and uh, border uh, gateway management uh, protocol, um, they are happening at the network layer, uh, determining what is the best path to get the individual packets through, to, to send them to the ultimate destination. Um, these, well, uh, these protocols, the internet protocol, uh, internet command management protocol, internet group management protocol, the, uh, the routing protocols are for identification and the metadata of the network itself. Uh, they are providing a description, you know, the, these are where the links are. Uh, these are links that are available. These are links that are unavailable. These are links that are uh, possibly busy. Um, and it takes a while to get through them. You know, so all of that uh, gets dealt with at this at this layer. Um, the identification and authentication of other uh, nodes on the network. Uh, again, part of um, network management, so therefore uh, happening at this layer. Now, uh, the identification of nodes uh, becomes interesting when we uh, get into areas like onion routing. And uh, onion routing is, uh, uh, it was invented actually by the U.S. Navy. So, you know, the uh, Navy is responsible if, if people think that this is a bad thing now because we cannot determine uh, the origin or destination of traffic. And in order to uh, do that, um, each node wraps the packet in encryption. And so we are wrapping and then unwrapping the layers of encryption like the layers of an onion, hence the name onion routing. Uh, which <laughs> became another Nigerian story. Um, the... Uh, I, I was covering it, and, and just, you know, everybody was not uh, getting the, the concept. And uh, finally somebody said, can you write it down on the board? And so I wrote down on your routing. And all the women in the class immediately said, oh, onion routing. And immediately got the concept. Now, okay, so first... Uh, cultural problem, I was using the wrong pronunciation for 
uh, their particular dialect. Okay. And once they, you know, understood that, you know, onion, they got it. But all the guys were still sitting there with blank faces. And finally, one of the guys said, why do you call it onion routing? And I said, well, when you're cooking, haven't you ever sliced an onion in half? And all the guys in the class recoiled in horror. Second cultural uh, consideration. Um, apparently in Nigeria, uh, if you are a guy, your mother cooks for you, or your sister cooks for you, or your wife cooks for you, or you eat in a restaurant, or you starve to death. But you do not cook. Guys do not cook in Nigeria, at least not in the area that I was teaching in. So, uh, interesting cultural considerations that we have to uh, pay attention to when we are uh, teaching some of these concepts. Um, okay, uh, again, you know, it, it, because we are wrapping it in encryption, um, the actual address is in, in, encrypted inside uh, a packet underneath a layer of encryption, etc., etc., etc. So um, we're hiding. Uh, it, of course, it's not absolute. You can uh, uh, do things with regard to uh, seeing the traffic around Tor exit and entrance nodes and, and try to map things and, and uh, people have found that uh, they can do a fair amount of uh, traffic tracing um, in that way. But um, yeah, it does, it does provide some uh, confidentiality. Um, anyway, uh, so we are dealing with message routing and relaying um, we have uh, various things, uh, uh, types of, of transmission, unicast, where it's just, you know, from one node to another specific node. Uh, multicast to um, uh, a, uh, a group of nodes that everybody is receiving the same... Uh, stream of information and of course streaming audio streaming video um, that's how you do it and uh, uh, IGMP of course is used to handle the the grouping and management of those uh, particular <coughs> uh, systems um, and then of course there's broadcast there are certain broadcast addresses which are everyone, and again, the uh, Smurf and Fraggle attacks depend on this uh, broadcast addressing. So, 